actors and actresses have high expectations from the entertainment industry. It doesn't matter if you're into modeling, product endorsement, or just plain good acting. Edie Williams has been everywhere and done everything. She's one of the most outspoken actresses Hollywood has ever produced. Also, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking the video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video! Great Beginnings Her work on The Twilight Zone will be etched in the minds of fans for years to come. Although many of our present readers are familiar with her name and image, we will discuss her impressive body of work in this column. She was born Edwina Beth Williams in Salt Lake City, Utah on July 9, 1942. She's a stunning woman who made a name for herself in the business thanks to her grace and charm. Even if we don't know much about her parents, we may infer that she was reared with a lot of consideration and freedom when it came to making professional choices. Furthermore, she is a member of the white ethnic group and an American citizen. Magazine models became popular as a source of comfort for Edie, despite the fact that they had existed prior to that time. As a result of her exposure to magazine models, Edie had high expectations for the ones she saw. Her parents were developing a new idea at the moment, possibly something that will make life a little easier for their family to make Edie look like one of those photoshoot-ready fashion models. Edie stood out from the rest of the field due to her unique combination of beauty and charm. Still, she was a cheerful adolescent who liked being outside and interacting with other people. She didn't need to be saved. In fact, her parents asked her about modeling as a career when she was just 14 years old. All of them, however, were unprepared for what Edie was about to experience. Utah Roots and Beauty Despite her Utah roots, Williams spent much of her life in South Carolina before moving back to Utah as an adult. This model has always had a passion for modeling, and her family has always been extremely supportive of her endeavors. There's no way to tell what kind of education she has without knowing more about her past. Since Williams is a well-known model, it's safe to assume that, aside from putting an emphasis on academics, she had a lifelong passion for modeling. Edie Williams began her modeling career competing in beauty pageants. Williams had the full backing of her family. That is why she entered several competitions and gained notoriety for herself. All of this involvement served as a springboard. Edie appeared in a slew of films and television shows during the 60s. The Beverly Hillbillies, The Twilight Zone, Batman, Adam-12, and many more come to mind. Edie Williams made notable appearances in films such as The Seven Minutes and Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, among others. From that point on, her filmography was jam-packed with roles. She has also done work for Playboy magazine as a photographer. The Academy Awards and the Keynes Film Festival aren't the only places she has appeared on screen. Aside from her amazing clothing, she also had a fiery attitude that completely stole the stage. Edie Williams has long been a well-known celebrity because of her outlandish appearance and equally outlandish acting. Her cinematic career was shaped by her modeling profession, which lingered on in the imaginations of the viewers. For the most part, the model will be married or involved in a romantic relationship for an extended amount of time. Edie is a similar case. She used to be married to Russ Meyer back when he was alive. Director, producer, and cinematographer Russ is well known. No details are known regarding their romance, including how or when they first met. Regardless, they got married in 1970 and were content with their decision. Only close family and friends were invited to this intimate gathering. Sadly, the couple's union did not continue as they divorced in 1977. They haven't had any offspring since their nuptials. After her split from Russ, she dated a few more guys, but no one can tell who they were or where they met. Despite the fact that her marriage had ended, she had not stopped working toward her dream of becoming a movie star. Edie Williams has a current net worth of $2 million as of 2019. This is all the outcome of her work as a model and an actress. In spite of her lack of recent performing activity, her name has always been revered in the industry. Even though Edie has a good deal of money, we don't know much about her residence or the vehicles she drives just yet. Edwina Beth Williams was born on September 7, 1942 in Salt Lake City, Utah, and will be 78 years old in 2020. She was raised in Southern California. Every year on September 7, she had a birthday party for her. Biggest Film and TV Roles Edie appeared in several films and television programs during the 1960s, such as The Beverly Hillbillies and The Twilight Zone, in Adam's 12, Lost in Space, The Naked Kiss, and in The Sunny and Cher Picture. Good Times Edie played various parts in 1967. Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, Russ Meyer's first mainstream release, starred Williams as Ashley St. Ives. The Seven Minutes, Meyer's second mainstream release, followed in 1971. Meyer and Williams tied the knot in 1970, just a year after the film Beyond the Valley of the Dolls came out on the big screen. Russ Meyer, Williams' then-husband, 
shot a full-color photo spread for Playboy in March 1973. Williams was photographed by Russ Meyer. Williams continued performing after her divorce from Meyer in 1977, mostly pictures with a lot of nudity. On an episode of The People's Court called The Star Who Wouldn't Pay in 1982, Williams was one of the defendants. She was suing the plaintiff for the money she owed her for the publicity she had done for the plaintiff. She sued Williams for the other half of his retainer. After then, Williams only appeared in a handful of films between the late 1980s and the early 1990s, on a sporadic basis. Williams has worn provocative and exposing ensembles in both the Academy Awards and the Keynes Film Festival since the 1970s. Additionally, there are different locations and responsibilities for the host. On the $25,000 pyramid, Scott's opponents won world record-breaking amounts of money thanks to the game show genre. She's been on just about every game show and chat show there is, and she's even agreed to take part in a Celebrity Jeopardy competition, ultimately coming in second to LeVar Burton. She was nominated for a Best Actress Emmy the following year. Co-star Eric Braden and she were in charge of presenting the Daytime Emmy Awards in 1996, which they did from Radio City Music Hall. As a result of her appearances on countless TV guide covers throughout the years, she has established herself as a daytime television's preeminent cover girl. As a result of a press leak in 2002, her TVQ ranking was revealed to be number two, behind only Julia Roberts. Additional efforts. Miss Scott has also designed her own clothing line for HSN and Canadian Home Shopping, as well as hair and skincare products. She enjoys taking vacations with her family, which includes her husband and two children. To give readers an insight into her background, she plans to write her memoirs in the near future. Involvement in a charitable cause A year after Hurricane Katrina, she visited hospitalized victims in Mississippi Rising and the Oklahoma City bombs. Miss Scott has been a founding board member of the Lucille Ball Desi Arnaz Center since 2001. Because of her involvement in center activities, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz's genius and legacy have been enhanced and appreciated. Despite Lucy Scott's departure as director in 2008, the center in Jamestown, New York, where she grew up, is still functioning strong. She intends to run for her old position on the board of directors again as soon as the infrastructure improves. Longtime board member of the ATAS TV Cares organization, where she helped administer the Academy's HIV and AIDS awareness campaign. Do you enjoy the work of Edie Williams? Let us know what you think in the comments section below, and don't forget to check out the next video in the series to learn more about Hollywood life.